This is Scientific American 60 Second Science. I'm Emily Schwing. For more than 10,000 years, Alaska Native and Canadian First Nations people have lived along the northwest coast of North America. Now, ancient remains have provided genetic proof of that long habitation. There is largely the same gene pool in northern northwest North America today than there was uh, 10,000 years ago. Rip and Molly at the University of Illinois Champaign. He and colleagues analyzed the DNA in four skeletons found in the region that range from 1,500 to 10,000 years old and the results of two major implications. First, they support traditional oral histories about life in the region. Second, they open up the possibility for new theories about how people migrated to the continent, namely more than one colonization. It could be that folks first moved south into Central and South America and then back up into North America, or it could be um, that uh, there was another movement from Northeast Asia into North America later on in time. Um, yeah, so there are many different possibilities uh, that could explain the patterns that we're seeing. The studies in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The researchers also compared genetic data from Northwest Coast populations with DNA in remains unearthed south of the Canadian border. The analysis shows that the almost 13,000-year-old Anzic child found in Montana is related more closely to people from Central and South America than to Washington State's 9,000-year-old Kennewick man, who is of entirely different lineage. He's not related to people of the Northwest Coast, and his genes aren't all that closely linked to Anzic child's South American relatives either which shows that the story of the settlement of the Western Hemisphere is still very much a work in progress. Thanks for listening. For Scientific American 60 Second Science, I'm Emily Schwing.